everyone, Girl Maze Pixels here, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you guys a CC Finds video, and instead of like normally doing like shoes or hair or makeup or create a sim items, I'm actually doing decor items and what I, the places I go to get all the items I use for decorating my houses. And this was requested by Miss Dean XO, and I'll put their screen name on the screen now. And they suggested this item or this idea to me, and I was like. I don't know. I never really thought about it before and I loved it. I was like, heck yes, we are going to do that. So this is what I'm doing. And throughout this video, I'll be showing paintings and little knickknacks and furniture, kind of all those stuff put together. Um, patterns and stuff like that will be another video just because this video would be super huge and long and I don't want to do that to you guys. So just keeping it simple, keeping it simple. This video will be about Sims 3 items, mostly because I don't have a whole lot of decor items for Sims 4. I don't even have a lot of CC for Sims 4. Um, I'm still working on building up that collection, but this one for my Sims 3, I have a whole lot of stuff. So I figured that's the most content that I have, so why not share it? So the most obvious place to go find Sims 3 items, I guess, would be the Sims 3 store. And you just... Uh, make a username or whatever. Most people tend, if you have the game, you tend to already have an account. Um, this is like one I've had since like 2009. Hazel Eyed Girl 123. <laughs> you can tell they come friend me. It's, it's chill. It's cool. Anyway, so if you just hit store button and go to the store, um, they always have a whole bunch of things. If you, I have my ad blocker on. If you don't have ad blocker, you turn it off. Um, you can watch advertisements for free sim points and you can just put them on, put them on mute or whatever and go to another page and it'll give you five sim points uh, if you click right here. So get bonus sim points. This is like the easiest way instead of like buying if you can't afford them. Uh, this is pretty easy. You can do like a certain number of videos per day but there's no like set for sure number of times you can do it a day, but if you just save them up, kind of like saving your money, um, then you can buy all this really cool stuff. Um, they also have a sell section and a daily deal. Daily deal is like timed deals. And so coming up next would be some furniture, and in the past they had some rugs or whatever. A uh, pretty cool way to get some stuff for cheap. Um, so if you just go to store, store content, if I could click it. Um, and build a buy mode. Uh, then it will take you to buy. And here's like all these different items, and they're organized like they, how they are in our game. So we have surfaces and decor and entertainment and hobbies and comfort and all that fun stuff. So you go through here, and you can download and check them out. It's pretty cool, and it just kind of adds more to your game. I enjoy it. There's some pretty cool stuff on here. Um, if I know for sure I can go download it for free um, on some other website, then I'll go and do that instead, like um, like Tools of the Trade. I probably could find that easily on some custom content website. Um, and then there's just other stuff that you can find that maybe you might not find, so it's easier to download on here. So that's one place that you can check out. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Most of us probably already know it. Uh, but they have some pretty cool stuff on here. Um, and some of the time, <laughs> the prices are reasonable. Other times, not so much. If you know for sure you can find it on a custom content website for free, do that. Uh, but if it's something that you absolutely cannot find or you specifically want that item, then totally get it. Save up with a little advertisements and you'll be all good to go. So that's one of them. You guys probably know by now, I love Tumblr. Tumblr is like my favorite for any kind of Sims content. You can find so much and it's just organized better. I find that it's so much easier to find than like if you Google or go to TSR, uh, The Sims Resource, or Mod The Sims. I find that's just so much easier. The pictures are always really cute and you get to see the stuff in action better than um, like The Sims Resource. So, um, if you just type in Sims 3 CC or S3 CC decor, I actually typically don't do this as much just because it tends to not give you a whole lot. Um, I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff through here. Um, these are some kawaii mugs, some little plushies. This is like a dining room, I guess. It brings up some stuff. Not typically the way that I go about finding my decor items. Um, I'm telling you guys, like, follow these people because they have, like, really cute stuff. I don't want to check that out later. Um, 
but this isn't usually what I do. Uh, what I typically tend to do is, let me move that over, is I try to find tumblers that are CC fine tumblers. And this is a really big thing in the Tumblr community. People will reblog the stuff that they download and they'll create separate blogs for all their sim finds or their CC finds. So here we have Sweet Sims, CC finds. There's a whole bunch out there. Um, even if you just go to Google and type in like, Sims 3 CC find blogs or whatever. Um, this is so easy to find. Um, so this is one of them that I like to follow. I try to find the ones that are really organized really well. So as you can see, they have create a sim and accessories and clothes. Uh, you just scroll down here. They have everything sectioned out perfectly. They have objects or living room, dining room, bedroom, kitchen, etc. Um, and you just click it. So we'll check out some rugs. And it brings up all these different people that have created all these different kinds of rugs. And you just scroll through and try to find some rugs that you would like in your game. Um, I actually have some of these. I have some of them. I Yeah, I need to actually do this. I need to update some of my rugs. Um, but there's just some really cool stuff. So if you go back, then you can click on a different one. I always try to open like different tabs. Just kind of keep it organized better. I can have like five different tabs going at once, um, which drives like my family crazy, but it's all good. Um, so I guess they don't have any office stuff. That's fine. Um, let's check out some lighting. Maybe they have some cool lamps or something. Yeah, like they have like these star lamps. Those are so cool. Uh, some lamps over here, some hot air balloon lamps. Like those are so cool. Uh, people make some really cool stuff. So CC Find Blogs are the easiest and best way to find free Sims 3 or Sims 4 even custom content. A similar CC Finds blog is my Sims 3 blog. And this is probably one of the biggest CC Find, quote unquote, CC Find blogs that the Tumblr community uses. Or not even Tumblr, Sims 3 community uses. They have a Sims 4 blog, so you can also check them out too. Um, but they just have like a blog 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 spot, but they also have, I think, a Tumblr as well. I usually just go here. Yeah, see, they have Tumblr finds, um, Sims 4, so, yeah, anyway, so if you come over here to labels on the side, you can scroll through, and this is all the tags for their items, and if you need windows and doors, you can check that out, or wallpaper and floors, or wall art, so we'll check out wall art, and it just loads it up, kind of like Tumblr does, and it's just all these different users creations. Uh, so here we have some chalkboard paintings and stuff like that. Um, really cool, really cool items. A lot of paintings, obviously, because that's what I clicked. Um, and you just scroll through and keep going through. Really cool stuff. Um, and then you get to the bottom and you just keep older posts, older posts, until there's no more left. Uh, so it's a little bit more difficult to find because you it's more like one and then one res with Tumblr, um, it kind of makes it more spread out. Uh, but I still enjoy going here time to time. They don't update it as much anything anymore, I think. Um, yeah, I don't even know if they've updated in a long time. Yeah, 2014. So it's been about a year since they've updated, which is totally fine. But there's some stuff on here that you'll occasionally be like, oh, I didn't know that that existed. It's pretty cool. Um, here is another Sims 3 CC Finds Tumblr. It's called Sims or S3 CC Finds. Uh, pretty easy. And this one, if you go to tags, and then you can just organize it out for what you're looking for. Oh, or not. Oh, this one maybe not. Yeah, these ones don't have tags, so you just have to scroll through. It's chill. You just scroll through. Occasionally, this is like when I find like millions and billions of <laughs> custom content that. I probably don't need in my game, but I'll be like, oh my gosh, I want it all. So then I download like all the hairs and makeups and everything. So it kind of becomes a mess, but it gives me a little off track. It's all good though. It's all good. I find some really cute stuff. Um, so I'm going to move on to more specific users I love. So we're going to jump into this one. This is Winter Pond and they actually don't uh, create anymore. They've stopped creating. I don't know why. Um, they just haven't updated their Tumblr in forever. But they still have the cutest items. Uh, one of them being this flag garland right here. These are super cute for kids rooms or hallways, stuff like that. Super cute. Love it. 
Um, they have different sets. This is like a little makeup box thing. So they have some moons and poster things. Uh, pretty cool. This is my favorite thing in game right now is this daybed set. I just downloaded this a little while ago. And it comes with this daybed, with the pillows, this blanket, and then these lights. And it is the cutest thing. I have been using them for like my teen girls rooms. They like look so cute in there. Um, there's mini desks. I don't have these in game, but they have like little perfume bottles, stuff like that. Um, I think that's all they have, but I don't know. Their stuff's really cute. I really like it. And they have some pretty cool other stuff like on their, um, Tumblr. They have some interior shots of like decorating and stuff, which I think is really cute. Um, pretty good inspiration to gather from. Like look how cute those chairs are. Super cute. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's Winter Pond. I really like their stuff, so definitely check them out. They don't have a lot, but for what they do have, it's good quality, basically. Over here, we have Simulation, and they are more into pillows and wall hangings and rugs and a couple pieces of furniture. Um, they have really bright, fun, eclectic kind of stuff, a lot different than Winter Pond with their more subtle and neutral kind of items. These are very fun and colorful. Uh, they have really cool ottomans and chairs, which I like. want to download these. I need to. I just haven't yet, but these are super cute. Um, they even have some wallpapers. I just got like this little, it's like a couch. It's called the Toby couch, and I, I put it at the end of beds and stuff like that. Really cute. Um, just a lot of like wall decor. My biggest thing in-game with all the expansion packs I have and the stuff packs it comes with a lot of decor items and a lot of furniture, honestly. And if you just recolor with patterns and stuff, you can reuse a lot of different items and make them look so different time to time. So my biggest thing usually is wall paintings. I always want more and more things to put on the wall just because there isn't too much in game that come with the game that I like. So that's like a big thing for me is just having lots of paintings and stuff like that. So, definitely check them out. Simulation, pretty cool. Uh, they even have some music, so you can listen to some music while shopping on their blog. Next up, we have Sim Material, and they're not actually a really, really big custom content maker. Um, she has really cute stories, and her Sims are adorable. Like, seriously, look how freaking cute. Uh, that's her Sim Kennedy. Super cute. Um, but she has really cool paintings. Like, she just released these not too long ago. Yeah, in September. These are super cute. I love these. I just downloaded them. And they're so much fun to, like, layer and put next to each other. Um, she has these, which are pretty cool for, like, kids' rooms or boys' rooms or something like that, you know. Uh, she has a lot of sims. But then we also have, like, these little elephant paintings. So cute. Um, I really like her style. She has really fun items and stuff like that. So definitely check her out. Um, and also her sims are so pretty. So it's really fun to watch like her storytelling and stuff like that too. Um, moving on, we have Liz Zero and she makes really cool art and design stuff. Uh, so these you guys have probably seen so many times. I use this <laughs> way more than I should in my houses. Um, so I have these like little wall hanging things. There's like a calendar and different quotes and stuff use this all the time. Uh, I also have these books that are perfect for kids rooms or like little kid cubby corner, reading corners, stuff like that. You can layer them all. They're all separate and you can like stagger them or whatever. They're really fun. Uh, so here's more pictures of that wall hanging. Love it. And then more. So yeah, I love her stuff. It's really, I don't know, just really cute standard kind of items that like just really punch up a room and make it look so much fun. Like these little um, leaning wall hangings are super cute. Uh, these I have used a lot. These are Christmas um, prints. I was like, what are they called? Christmas prints. They have, they're, they're so cute. I love using them for when I decorate my Sims houses for Christmas or the holidays. She also has some coffee prints, perfect for the kitchen, nursery art. Actually, I haven't even downloaded these yet, but these are cute. Use them perfectly for kids' rooms or nurseries. More typography, kitchen decor. She has a lot of different stuff. Um, a lot of really cool, fun, unique items. Um, but very more simple, and I enjoy that. I like that's more simple. 
Anyways, check her out. She is awesome. Liz Zero. And she makes the cutest stuff. Definitely check her out. Next, we have a Love Like Sims. Look how fun their freaking Tumblr is. Like, look how cute. You can, like, draw things with the cursor. Um, they have a really big mix of patterns and posters. So here's, like, a pattern dump, which some of these are really cool. Like, that's super cute. That's fun. I love this. Um, so I'll definitely have to, like, go check out her stuff after this video. Download some more. Add to my collection. Um, I just downloaded these not too long ago. They're just very, they're nautical paintings, which are really cute. I used them in one of my Sims houses recently. And they're just really fun. Um, she has some whimsical animal paintings. These are adorable. And then she also takes from people, like real life artists, and transfers or converts it to Sims, which I think is so cool because you can get real life artwork and put it in your games, which that's just so cool to me. I do have this set, super pretty, um, it's Mira Lee uh, Patel paintings, so cute, gorgeous, they really are. This is the Fault in Our Stars posters, you can put those like in your teen girls rooms, all these really cool ones, so definitely check her out, she has a lot of really cool paintings and posters, which I find are so useful in game, and I love making really big collage walls, which those are always so fun. Next we have Everlasting Garden, and they have their, download, their downloads organized by category, which makes it so much more useful and helpful to find what you're looking for. So if you just hit Decor or Furniture, it opens it in a new tab for you. And if you will load, um, these are like Sims 4 uh, conversions. So it was items that are made with Sims 4, but they are converted to The Sims 3, which is really cool. I enjoy that. Because you can kind of have, if you like a certain item in Sims 4, you can bring it over to your Sims 3 game, which I think is really fun. Uh, she has so much stuff. Like, so much stuff. Um, but they're all, like, really cool. And they show, like, the different ways you can color them. And so much different items. Like, so many. Like, these are, like, little racks for your dog leashes. Like, I love this. I love this. Perfect. Um posters and incense burners like they have garden stuff it's really cool they have a whole bunch of different kinds of items that you normally wouldn't think you need for your game but then like you're like oh my gosh I totally need that so everlasting garden they're really good and they have a whole bunch more of downloads so you can um, check them all out next up we have about five and he makes a lot of like realistic rugs and wall art and furniture. Uh, these really cool chairs and tables. He has some rugs that I love that I've been using a lot in my game. And he bases his items off of real life items and then converts them into The Sims 3. Which I enjoy that just because it brings a little bit more realism to my game. I really enjoy that. Um, see, this is CC for pets, which is super cool. There's some dog beds, um, little bag of dog food, and some bowls that aren't as, like, cartoony as the ones that we have in-game. So, definitely check him out. Like, these are, like, x-ray. These would be so cool for, like, an office or something. I don't know. They're really cool. Really different. Uh, really unique items. Next, we have Sweet Wild Oranges, and they're really big in... The simming community, especially on Tumblr. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Yeah, her name's Erica. And they make the coolest wall paintings. And they make huge, huge collections of them. And they come with so many different options. Like right here we have ice cream and like bunnies and cake and all this waffles. Like look how cute this is. Like this would be perfect for a kitchen. Um, even in like a little girl's room or something like that. I love this. I, have, I don't even have this in game, but I need to get it for sure. Um, and they also take from real life artists. So this one is by Andrea Castro. This is her actual real life art and then they convert it to Sims 3. So you can use that. There's sci-fi posters. These are really cute for like your little nerdy Sims. I enjoy that. Uh, Amy, Amy B. Brooks. Really cool artwork. And this is really cool because you learn about different artists of our time and get to kind of go check out their art. So, like, if you see a poster in game that you like, you can totally go, like, find them on the internet and order a real-life painting of it 
or a copy of it and you can put it in your own house. I think that's so cool. I really enjoy that. So they have so many different kinds of art on here for like basically anyone and everyone. Um, like these are really cool, very neutral, really cool stuff. Um, I get a lot of my paintings from them. So sweet wild oranges. All these people are like on Tumblr. Go check them out. Tumblr is so cool and so unique and you can find so many different kinds of items and once you look at one Tumblr, it can connect you to a different Tumblr and it just kind of keeps going and I follow so many people on Tumblr, uh, all for different reasons and that's how I find literally a majority of my content, literally. So definitely check out Tumblr, definitely worth it to sign up and everything. It's not, you don't have to pay anything or anything, it's free, so totally worth it, totally perfect for finding items. This is the last place I am showing you has been around forever, which <laughs> very ironic because of the name. This is around The Sims 3. I think they've been around since The Sims 2. I know that I used to get content from Around The Sims 2, and I'm pretty sure they have Around The Sims 4. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they even have Around The Sims. So I think they've been around since The Sims 1. Yeah, this is Sims 1 items. Like, you can go and get Sims 1 items. That's so, so cool to me. There's Sims 2. I used to check out their Sims 2 website all the time. Literally looks the same. And they have, like, really cool, fun stuff. Anyways, so Around the Sims 3. They even have Around the Sims 4, so check them out. Um, and they're still updating. This was uploaded the 21st of November. And it's the 28th when I'm recording this. So they still update for the Sims 3, which I think is so nice because... So many people have stopped making for The Sims 3 and gone to The Sims 4, and we're kind of getting old of the content that we have, but these people, they're making new stuff all the time. So, like here it says, from the 1st to the 24th of December, there'll be a new object to download every day. That's super cool. So, uh, you can go, you choose from here, like, what you want. So, I already clicked objects, and then on the side, it's all by different, it's organized out by different items. Um, a lot of times I like to go through by sets and I'll be like, oh, I want maybe something for the kitchen. I don't know. So then I'll check out their stuff for kitchen. Um, so I'll be like, oh, industrial kitchen. And they also have it in French. I think they're like also French or something like that. So you, if you speak French, you can change it to that. Anyway, so this is, um, the industrial kitchen for Sims 3. It was based off the Sims 4. And you can click through. This is like Ikea kitchen. These are really cute countertops. I actually really like these. They come with like really cool cabinets and they make really, like these are based off real things. Say you're wanting to decorate your kid's room. They have that too. Crazy. Um, they have baby swings and changing tables and um, play pens, walkers, toys, baby food decorations if you want to make it realistic. Um, or you can also go by function. So say you're wanting a new bed for your Sims. So you can just click beds and it'll show you all the beds that they have, which are really fun and cool. Like these are cool with the pull out drawers. Um, just a simple bed. Some more bunk beds for your kids. Yes, love them bunk beds. These are ones that are really cool. Um, so yeah, so they have so much stuff. Like they have miscellaneous stuff. Just want to check this out. There's like little little things that make your game more realistic, like a slob's life. This is going to be like pizza boxes and crap like that. Look how cool. There's like Chinese boxes and trash and underwear and clothes, newspapers. It just makes your game so much more realistic and I enjoy that. And if you're into like picture taking and not maybe so much gameplay, but you're really into picture taking, this helps make your pictures look so much more realistic so they have really really awesome stuff so that's about it I know this video was just a lot of me talking and pointing <laughs> at different kinds of items but every everyone that I talked about in this video will be linked down below so you can go check out their tumblers and their websites and just see all the different stuff that you can download this is where I get a lot of my stuff another big thing that I do is I use actually a lot of items from the game from the different expansion packs in the game so the big thing on that is that I just recolor them I don't just use the item the way or the color that it already is if you change up a wood texture to a metal texture or you change a carpet to I don't even know something different it helps change up the item so that's 
the amazing thing about the Sims 3 is that we can make so many different cool items and we can customize them to however we want just by changing the color of it. So Sims 3, that is one of my favorite things about Sims 3 and it makes decorating so much more fun because there's so many endless options with it. So I think I will be doing a patterns CC finds in the future and I just I didn't want to fit it all into here because this is already a lot of information to take in so I didn't want to like throw that at you guys too but I will do a separate video of patterns and it will show where I get my different prints and wood patterns and tile patterns all that fun stuff and that can really make your game so much more alive and more realistic if you get some new patterns in people make really fun different prints so I would love to share that with you guys as well so comment down below and let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that um also also like side note sorry for all the talking um I am I think eight or nine subscribers away from a thousand at the very moment so by the time this gets uploaded I'm not sure but I am so freaking close to a thousand and I am so excited once I hit a thousand I have so many fun videos for you guys in store um, I will be doing like a STEM video, I will be doing a face reveal, and just talking to you guys about some of the new things that will be happening with my channel because I have hit a thousand. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure we will hit it in the next couple days. I'm so freaking excited. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support and love that you guys give me. I know that you guys are always commenting and sharing ideas. I love that so much. I love hearing what you guys have to say and sharing it with me. I enjoy it so much. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. I love you all. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.